I'm Andy McNabb, and today I'm the one who's hijacked the Big Brother house. And this is pathetic behaviour. A typical student. Set out, do it now! Dear 10, 7.15 a.m. All the housemates are asleep in the bedroom. Today's celebrity hijacker is former SAS soldier Andy McNabb. Andy is wearing a balaclava to protect his identity. Early this week, Big Brother asked housemates to volunteer for an interrogation task. They were warned it could be potentially stressful and disorientating. All housemates volunteered and were given a four-digit code to memorise and keep secret. At the moment I've got two of my team outside the Big Brother bedroom. They're going to storm the bedroom, lift two of the housemates and take them away for an interrogation. Because they've got a code and I want that code. I want to get it out of them. This is Andy McNabb, and I've hijacked the Big Brother house. Stand by, go. Stay still, stay still, stay still, mate. Right? Out your beds, out your knees, out your beds. Do that now. Do it now. Do it. Do it. On your knees, on your knees. Hands behind your head. Stay still. The man with the tattoo is on his right hand side. Stand up. Hands behind your head. What's your name? Anthony. The man in the stripy t-shirt, stand up. Yeah, you. Hurry up, quickly. What's your name? Metcalf. Speak up, speak up. Jeremy Metcalf. Jeremy, take one forward pace and you'll be taken to the floor. Do you understand? Yes. Anthony, kneel down. Woman in the blue t-shirt with a black cap on, stand up. Stay still. Either of you move one pace forward, you'll be taken to the floor. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. What's your name? Amy. What do you do, Amy? I'm a student. Kneel down. Now. Quickly! Anthony, stand up. Stand up, Anthony! Anthony, Anthony stand up! These are the two I want lifted. Stay perfectly still. Everybody else remain exactly where they are. Don't move! Anthony, put that on now! Do that now! Amy, put that on and do it now! On it off! Do it! Quickly! Get a move on, Amy. We haven't got all day. Right, turn round. The rest of you stay perfectly still. Until we are out of this room, do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Nice and slow, keep your head down, get Amy's head down. Do that now. Get your head down. Keep your head down, the rest of you stay still. Stay still. Head down, walk forward, nice and slow. Nice and slow. <laughs> that was terrifying. Nice and slow. No sudden movement. Stay still. Housemates Stay still. Amy and Anthony have been removed from the Big Brother house. Right, we're at the vehicle. Put your head down. Right, you're on the seat. Move that right foot across to your right. There. The seat's there. And turn. Turn. Now we're going to drive them around for a good half hour now to disorientate them, they're out of their warm environment, get them into the interrogation centre, get them into another alien environment which is their cells. Yesterday Big Brother told housemates what the interrogation task reward and punishment would be. The first housemate to crack and divulge their secret code will have to nominate one housemate to automatically face the next public vote. 
The housemaid who keeps their code secret will win £5,000 cash and immunity from this week's nominations for themselves and one other housemate. The rest of the housemates are in the bedroom. Last night, Jade was the first housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother house. Oh, Jade! Look what happens when we don't wake up to Jade dancing. We wake, we wake up to Annie McNabb. We, went, we, we wake up to interrogation. I, I know which one I prefer. Amy and Anthony can stop the interrogation process at any time by using a pre-agreed code word. Eight forty-one a.m. Andy McNabb is in the hijack booth. Right, now put your hands behind your head. Unbeknown to Anthony and Amy, they're being returned to the Big Brother house. We're going through a door, just nice and slow. That's it, nice and slow. Anthony will be interrogated in room one, and Amy will be in room two. Keep your hands where they are. Right. Your arms out for the step. Andy McNabb and his team have a maximum of five hours to extract the four-digit code from either housemate. And we're going to go through a door. OK, nice and slow. Now left, turn left. And nice and slow, walk down to here. There's a wall about three yards ahead of you, right? And already now the interrogator's starting to think about the best way of approaching this, you know, what we call the target. Because what do you want to do? If you're screaming and shouting, it's going to be counterproductive. So what you've got to do is look at your target and how are you going to manipulate him to get that information? Because that's what I want. I just want the code numbers. That's all I want. White noise is played into the headphones to disorientate the housemates further. Do not move. Do not move at all. Right? And in a short while, someone else might come and see you. Right? Well, stay still. What's happening now is just letting him tune in to, to his environment, just making sure that he knows he's somewhere totally different. You know, because that place isn't nice and warm like the bedroom was, and it smells of bleach. So the only senses he's got is his skin, so he can feel the cold, and he can smell that bleach, and he knows that he's somewhere different. Amy is being questioned in interrogation room two. Hello, Amy. Hi. Hello. How are you? Um, good. The whole thing for these interrogators is like a game. You know, you, you, get your, you get your target, you sit down and you're trying to work out what is the best way to get them sparked up so they're going to give that information because that's the ultimate game. Are you happy to be here? Yes. You're not sure really though, are you? The rest of the housemates have gone back to sleep in the bedroom. Nine thirty eight AM Andy McNabb's team have been interrogating Anthony and Amy for fifty eight minutes. Andy McNabb is playing various sound effects into the interrogation rooms to help disguise their proximity to the Big Brother house. It's a different eleven. I'm a boxer. Boxing is an individual sport. It relies a team to make it work. How do you think other members of the house would have fared had they been put in your position? I think some will have done better than others. Who do you think would have been the best? I think Anthony would be somebody I'd say would have been best. Anthony's not doing too well at the moment. Would you like to know what the other housemates are doing at the moment? Yes, I would actually. What are they doing? Well, they're certainly not sleeping. No, I don't imagine there would be. As a strategic technique, the interrogators have told Amy and Anthony that Big Brother has misled them about the true nature of this task. 
The interrogators claim the other housemates 